right? Your, your weight training outside of progressing the workouts should vary a little bit less than I think people think, right? And for most people between 10 and 20 hard sets per muscle group per week is what's usually going to be needed to maximize hypertrophy, but based on your training intensity, how much rest you have between sets, your specific muscle, because some like quads and triceps have been shown to grow at higher volumes compared to everything else. Um, they could extend a little bit past 20 sets per week, and they could be a little bit forward, even down to like five to eight I've seen. Um, and then when it comes down to maintenance, and this is probably a, f- a fewer amount of your clients, but it, for most people to maintain their muscle, it's generally keeping between a third and I, I think even up to a ninth um, of training volume that they're used to just to maintain the muscle. Meaning if someone's used to 15 hard sets per week, anywhere from two to five, I always err on the side of caution and go closer to a third of their total training volume will generally maintain. But again, the individual and all those different pieces matter. Now, where a training split, I think really comes in is the aspect that often goes, I think, untalked about, which is daily training volume, right? How many hard sets per muscle group are you getting in one single workout? And this is something that I really think should be spent a little bit more time on when we talk about which splits to choose and which one to kind of go back on, because this is now measured how many sets per day. And when it comes down to hypertrophy, it really looks like for most people, only about six to eight, or maybe even up to 12 sets per day is about the max that you're going to, you're going to get that stimulus you need to grow out of it. Where even in this case, when you look at most research on it, 12 sets appears not to increase muscle growth past just eight sets in a single day. And that's where the term, I don't love this term, but the term that I usually hurt, like here thrown around is wasted sets. Or essentially if you do, and this is why I think the bro split or the body part split gets a lot of hate is because if you're doing a chest day and you're crushing 20 hard sets on your chest in a single workout, most of those sets would be considered wasted where anything past that eight, 10, 12 mark is not going to be helping you grow anymore, where it would be much more, I guess, productive to spread that out several times throughout the week in a different kind of split. So I think this is where the daily training volume really makes a difference in how many days someone's able to train and then what split you choose from them. Now, and these are the the basic two because progressive overload, obviously there's countless ways to do it, which I included over here on the left. But the two that matter when it comes to choosing the right training split is an easy way where you don't have to progress much else, but just by changing and, and manipulating the training split, your frequency can make a progression, right? Because progressive overload isn't just lifting heavier weights. That is one of many, many ways to do it. But even simply by lifting the same weight, the same sets, the same reps, but more frequently through the week is an equally good form of progressive overload. And based on a split, you can do that, right? Going from just having one chest day to let's say an upper lower body split where you're hitting chest now twice a week or a full body three, four, five times a week. That's where it typically goes. 